So you want me to answer that in 30 seconds? No, no. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you that. Let me, I'm going to answer that question in 30 seconds, okay? I mean, that is a question that has been brought up by a lot of people, philosophers and spiritual seekers from all over the world throughout human history. So your question is very valid, but you're not the first person asking it and wondering, but it's very, very valid. But let me answer you this. Let me ask you this question, with, which is the answer to your question, okay? And I'm not trying to cop out and getting out of trying to answer. Is when you're absolute silence, when you're in this place, when we do meditate together, do you ever go to this super groovy, silent, blissful place? Every Are time. Ever, every time? Okay, so when you're in this place, during, in that duration, okay? So let's say you have your ordinary life, and then it comes to academy, or we're meditating together, okay? I'm not saying it doesn't happen when you're doing it on your own. I'm just saying like here now. We're together at the academy, and all of a sudden, you're in this period of time, between this and this, you're in absolute bliss state you're gone okay are we on the same page are you with me you're not with me i lost I'm you not in the groovy groovy place if i already was touching it i will have the answers so okay, i hold am on. in the quiet no. my just, just one second one minute let me let me finish when you go into this deep meditative place, when I say groovy, I mean like you go into this silent, blissful place, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like it? Yes. Do you love it? Yes. Would you like to be in that space all the time? Yes. Yeah. In that space, does it ever come a question why am I here on this planet? Or there's just bliss? It's just the bliss. Exactly. Huh. This is that, tricky. Yeah. That question does not exist when you are in this place. Only comes when you come out of that place. The question that why do we have to come here and experience these things and then go back to this, this why, that question only comes when you're not in your fifth dimensional groovy space. When you come out of it, you ask that question. But when you're in it, that question doesn't exist. I don't know what to say to that. There's nothing yeah, to say, right? Yeah, exactly. So, it is a phenomenon. It's, it's an, a question rises in the mind. Questioning the true nature of the absolute. But in absence of that question, there's only the absolute and there's nothing else. So that's a conditioned mind throwing something there, trying to disturb the apple cart when there is no problem. The problem is the mind. You bypass the mind 
and then there's no questions and there's no answers. It simply is. There's no reason why we're here. Why do we come to this life? Why are we incarnating in this life? That's a thought, isn't it? It's a question. But if there is no mind, that question doesn't exist. As you begin to notice that, you also begin to see that a lifetime of slavery, being a slave, a lifetime to a conditioned mind that's creating all these things through thought forms. And by bypassing it, you enter into fifth dimension. That utopia is here already. And there are people who arrive there. And they live it right now in this moment in the same, occupying the same space as seven other, seven billion other people. While the rest of them are in hell, some are in heaven. It's right here, right now. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's right here. It's so much closer to you than you can even imagine. It's closer than your breath. You're already swimming in it. It comes at glimpses right now. It's not constantly your every moment reality. It pops and it disappears. So you got the stuff and once in a while you tap into this. It turns around. It will turn around. It will become. The balance will shift and you will begin to experience more and more of being in that place and less and less being in the mind and then eventually it becomes your experience all the time and it takes over and you're already in a process right now it's happening right now but don't worry about the rest of the world Because that's another mind fuck. That's mind agitation. That's food for mind. That's mind fucking. Oh, well, what's going to happen? And da, 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 da. These are all activating your thoughts. That's why I said it before. You have to be selfish on this path. Really mind your own business. Just focus on your own work. Of, and by doing that, people are going to be affected by your presence. But just focus on the task. Because it's an inner job. <laughs>